I suppose the simplest thing I could do right now is jump right into how great last night was. And it was. But I have to say, for what I'm about to say, I have, last night was rather, uh, for what I have to say, last night was actually rather bittersweet. Before I get into that, though, good morning and happy Saturday. So, just consider, consider pretty much this whole story, my love, my high, my act of kindness. I mean, the act of kindness, even though technically I already used it the other day, is I made the reservation for Liv for 6 o'clock. So, that was already established. Um, so, I get back here a little before 4, and I knew the reservation was at 6, and maybe just because I really think Libs is worth the trouble for it, but I just had to look my very best before I went. Plus, I also was going to go to a live after 5 to kill some time, which I did. I'll get to that in a minute. Like... I had, like, the perfect outfit for the, like, if you guys remember, yesterday, I did a little bit of a poll asking what, um, what, uh, uh, shirt I should wear, and an overwhelming number of you said red. Red was not an option. What it, it was, okay, but you know what, we'll say... Orange red. Can emphasize the orange first because that's what it was. Gosh and darn it. <laughs> so one of one of my best shirts, um, one of my best pairs of jeans, brown socks with dockers, and uh my class ring on my uh right ring finger to promote self love, which as you know I have been working on. And starting to get the feeling of. Seriously, ever since, like, that night I went to Rye, I've really been, like, okay, you know what? I'm starting to feel it now. I mean, I'm not perfect at it now. I'm just thinking, come on. No one's, perfect at ever no one's perfect at everything. But I definitely feel as if, like, lately, every time I wear my class ring on my right ring finger, it's earned. Like, it feels right. To wear it, you know? So, where's the whole bittersweet part? Well, actually, well, I'm working my way to it. Relax. So, I go to live after five, and, you know, there's a few games set up for the kids. There was, um, walk up, walk up to the, spin the wheel and get a prize thing. And, uh, oh, actually, hold on. I'll be right back. So I did the uh, spin the wheel and get a prize, and I got this. Wondering what it is, isn't it? Well, believe it or not, it is. I can get it open. A reusable straw. Complete with a cleaning pipette to, to clean. You know, save the, uh, save the oils and everything. I just, uh, yeah. So put it in here. There you go. Give it some little salt. Basically, you're meant to reuse this. And I thought, maybe I could take it into Libs last night. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Besides, I don't want to do that. I'm, as awesome as it would be to use the straw for the first time at Libs, I didn't want to, I didn't want to potentially ruin what could have been, potentially ruin what was going to be a fantastic evening. But I do know that when I won this straw, I'm like, okay, it's going to be a good night. And then around, um, quarter of, I, had it over to Liz. It wasn't that far of a drive. It was only like maybe five minutes. I actually got, seriously, I was legit worried that the parking at Live After Five was going to be horrible. I actually got there it was a good time. Oh, and before I went, no kidding, I actually saw a fellow alumni from St. Mary Mother. In fact, the last time I saw this person was January of 2020, right before the pandemic started. I actually saw him at um, Illegal when Alive After Five, actually, yeah, 
Funny enough, another Alive After Five event where like Alive After Five was doing like this big party at the illegal tap house. But yesterday, Alive After Five took place on um, by the uh, Shimon Canal Trust building. And I saw him again and it was great. Saw his family. Family looks like they're doing well. I'm and I'm so mad too because well, not mad, but they also had a reservation for lives at 7:45, and my reservation was for six. So basically, by the time they were about to start, my family was leaving, and I did see them. By the way, if you, by the way, to my friend, if you're watching this, I did want to walk over and say hi to you guys, but my mom kind of told me not to bother you while you guys were eating. I mean. She's not inherently wrong for that, but you would only just got there. I think saying hi wouldn't have been a bad idea, you know, but whatever. So glad you're doing well, homie. You know who you are. Um, so, <laughs> I get to Libs. I'm the first one there because I, I, listen, I've always valued promise. You guys know that. So, I get to Libs, I get to our table, and my, um, by the way, I'm going to be shouting out to Libs a lot in this video. So, first of all, shout out to the amazing staff at Libs for being so warm, friendly, accommodating, because my grandparents are like 88 and 89, and they have to go through like the back entrance. And they're always quick to, you know, help them in and help us do our table. So, to the and obviously our waitress was awesome as well. You know, very, very good about getting, getting food for us and everything. Seriously, like, okay, full disclosure, the fir very first time I ever went to Libs, this is like years and years and years ago, I didn't like it because it felt like it took forever to get our food. This time it really felt as if, like, I don't think we waited maybe 15 minutes after we ordered. Okay, that's not entirely true. I mean, I think, like, it was, I think it was like 15 minutes until we got our salad. And then, like, another 15 minutes until we got our actual main course. And we also got coffee and a little lemon tart thing that they have, which is very good, by the way. I mean, listen, it's lit. Everything on that menu is worth going for. But, you don't want to hear about everything else, and then you want to hear what I got. Well, <laughs> starters, I always get, I always get um, Italian crumbly blue on my salad. You know, Italian dressing crumbly blue cheese. Seriously, like, lip salad is like next level for me. To put things into perspective, like, I'm not really an olives guy. Oh, here's the thing. I don't necessarily hate olives, but if they're there, I never usually go for them. They have like Kalamata olives, like those are some good Kalamata olives. It's only like one olive, but it was so good. So the salad was wonderful. And then um, when I got my dinner, my side was uh, their linguine. My folks always called it spaghetti, but for the sake of, you know, Keeping things as they're supposed to be called, I'll, keep, I'll call it linguine because they call it, they call it linguine. I mean, the staff doesn't really care whether or not you call it spaghetti or linguine. They know what you're talking about. You know, long, thin noodles, you know? With, I mean, it's lives as red, like, it's easily, hands down, the best red sauce in, like, this whole area. Like, the only place I think that has as good of, um, red sauce, in my opinion, is Antique Inn in uh, Peng Yen, which, speaking of Peng Yen, I will be going to Kiko Lake next week, so there is a chance I'll be going to Antique Inn at some point. Although, here's the thing, if you go to Antique Inn and order anything like their, like, chicken parmesan or eggplant parmesan or, you know, anything like that, their red sauce is very sweet. I mean, I'm a sweet boy. Don't get me wrong, I can be a spicy boy. I can be a savory boy. I can even be a salty boy. But... At heart, I'm a sweet boy with a sweet tooth to match. So, yeah, if you go to Ant I mean, listen, I don't need to talk about Ant again. I'm going to talk about Ant again enough as it is at some point, as well as the remaining of the 13. Well, you know, this is the year I'm going to all 13 places in the summer. I'm going to do it. 
I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna tell you all about it, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, go back to lift. Now, um, my main course though, come on. I've talked about it how many times now? It is the surf and turf. Now, I have a rule because you have, as I always alternate, as I always alternate between the 16 ounce filet and the 24 ounce prime rib. They are literally the same price. They are quite literally the same price. Although arguably the prime rib is probably the better deal because you get eight ounces more of meat, but semantics. Well, here's the thing. Like for many years, I always, for those of you wondering, for many, many, many years, I always got the filet, right? But then I saw a video by the late great Anthony Bourdain explaining that the tenderloin, which the filet is from, is the most boring, uninteresting piece of meat on the animal. Reason being is because it's small, there's not a lot of it, there's not a lot of it on the animal. You know, it, it's very tender, but you know, because it doesn't have, you know, intramuscular fat, you know, to give it the flavor, tenderness is all it's good for, hence why it's called tenderloin. And for all intents and purposes, Anthony Bourdain is correct on that. He's 100% correct on that. However, I do believe in there being an exception to the rule, and uh, it's Liz, guys. Liz is the exception to the rule, if there ever was one. So, last time I got the filet, this time though I got the prime rib. Next time though, back to the filet. There you go, I alternate. And I had mine cooked to a perfect medium rare, except no substitutions. Okay, you can, you shouldn't order a steak well done, but some people do, you know. I mean, I guess technically, oh, you know what? There are people who order steaks medium rare, and there are those that we don't want to party with. How about that? Okay. Okay, we do kind of want to party with them, but like at a distance, you know what I mean? Speaking of things cooked perfectly, the uh, linguine I had was cooked to a perfect al dente, very nice. And that was just the surf, that was just the turf. The surf, come on. I've talked about this thing for how many, how long now? Since day 550, I have talked at length of how great the shrimp scampi over at Libs is. And no surprise here, it's still, it's still amazing. It's still the best. I don't care, like, if it wasn't for the fact, like, it's just, like, little shrimps, I would totally have that as just my main course alone. But, I mean, come on. The filet or the prime rib at Libs? Like, forget about it. It is the main course on my full course of my life. It is the reason why I think about Libs all the time and the reason why I would go every day if I could. I mean, the garlic, the fact that the shrimp are like breaded and fried, not to mention that garlic, the insane amount of garlic on that shrimp scampi is what makes it for me. It does. I probably smelled like garlic walking out, but it was so worth it. This was, oh, actually, also, uh, my grandma likes to order a cheesy garlic bread for the table. I'm not complaining. It's garlic bread with cheese. Cheese rules our own. <laughs> it's probably okay. Quit leaving us in suspense. Where's the bittersweet part going to come in? Well, here's the thing. For as great of a night as last night was, and believe me, it was I will remember this for the rest of my life, especially since we went to Libs to celebrate a belated Mother's Day because my mom was working this past weekend and so we couldn't do anything. So we said, you know what? We'll go to Libs for, for, we'll go to Libs for a, a post Mother's Day thing. That's cool. And we did. But it's rather bittersweet because this is the final weekend before we go out to the lake and open it for the summer. Meaning every weekend from Memorial Day up until early October, we're up at the lake. So, for the most part, there is nary a chance we're going to be having dinner 
anyone in this area. Not at Libs, not at Sorges, not even in places like Emilio's or Atlas, or Vincenzo's, or Three Birds, or Hilltop, or 1157 North, or Rye, or any of those places. Because none of them are Bikiba Lake. I mean, listen, I talked at length about the 13 best places to get a bite to eat up in Cuba, and this is the year I'm finally going to do that. So, to all the to all the amazing places I just talked about in this area, you're all very good in your own right. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Thank you all for, let's see, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. For the nine, for the pretty much nine months, all right? Eight months. I can't count. I didn't lose any, I lost a lot of sleep last night thinking about how great the food was at Liv's, can you tell? Thank you for the last eight months of delicious meals. And it's not like, listen, we only go to Cuba Lake on weekends. It's not like we're going anywhere at all. We're not leaving permanently. We're not going, I mean, we could always visit during the week. Sure. Oh, right. For, I also got for Elbow Room. Elbow Room is cool, too. I, I, forgot about, I forgot to talk about Elbow Room. So, to all those places I just mentioned in this area, thank you for the eight months of very delicious meals. You know, you guys are all great in your own right. Never will I ever say otherwise. You know, you do this area justice, in my opinion. In this man's humblest opinion, you do this, land, you do this area justice. Corny, a minor big flat horse heads. All y'all, you do great. Oh, and Nick's. Crap, there's a lot of places I gotta talk about, isn't there? So yeah, put Nick's on that list too. My point is, you guys are all great, but it's our last weekend until we go up to the lake. As literally within an hour, I'm gonna be heading up to Connecticut to see my cousin graduate from college. So, for all intents and purposes, last night was the last time we're going to be having dinner in this area on a weekend. And that's why it's bittersweet, because I made no secret that 2023 has been a good year for me. Not quite a great year. However, that is something to change depending on a few things I want to do and whether or not said things are met with success. Okay, well, technically it's one thing, but it's a big thing, okay? And again, um, hold on, I, I just lost my train of thought, excuse me. I'm that excited, guys. It was that, last night was that great. So, 2023 really has been that great. And I owe that in large part to just the fact that I just told myself, you know what? Enough is enough. Go out there. See people. Have fun. And that's what I've been doing. That's why I go to places like Martini Night and that one wine tasting over at Illegal. That's why I take a chance and go to Nick's Bar and Grill and Horseheads after Easter Vigil Mass. That's why whenever, you know, I'm in mood for wings, I will, I'll just say, you know what, I'll go to Elbow Room myself. I'll have a great time. And I do. So trust me when I tell you, this year has been has been pretty darn good. Or you know what? Speaking of other places, um, Grist Iron. Literally taking a chance going to Grist Iron Brewing Company for their cheese fest. I mean, I was gonna go there to see my friends. I had a great time. All of that, and that was, and all of that was during like the cold, depressing winter months where no one wants to do anything. Speaking of doing that, cabin fever, that's another thing I did. And like, only now are we getting consistently warm weather. And it's incredible. But, all of that, and I only just say this year was good. Honestly, this summer should, like, the fact, like, I'm going, this is the first time I think I've ever really been so confident to say that Summer is going to be great. Like, honestly, because of how depressing we all know winter can be, I can kind of take the first couple months of this year and you know, take it or leave it. This is the first time I'm thinking, okay, these last few months are good. Let's make the rest of this year great. 
In fact, you know what? I'm so confident that that like that thing I mentioned I want to do to make 2023 a great year. I actually think I can pull it off. I really think I can pull off that thing. I really think I can. I never would have said that a year ago. Probably ever, actually. It all stems from the sense of self-love that I have now. I mean, I still don't have a firm grasp on it, but you know what? I'm a lot farther than I ever thought I would be. And I have everything in this area to thank for it. Because, I mean, we all have that sort of analogy like, the world is scary, the world is, like, vast. But you know what? You're going to find some good places to go to. You're going to find some good people to meet. And you know what? These last few months, I've not only met new people, but I've rekindled some friendships with others. Friendships I haven't, like, for, for years there are some people I haven't even seen. And I didn't even talk about all the events I went to where all my friends were vendors. So, uh, again, you know what? Shout out to Astornas and Boar, E. Oliver Candle Company, and Peas Macarons, and Max Cheese Boards. Wow, there's a lot. Of, oh, and uh, Yarns by JP. There's a lot of places I got. Man, there's a lot of places I got to talk about. Holy cow. Um, if I missed you guys, don't worry. You know who you are. You know what you stand for. You know how good you are. You certainly don't need this guy's opinion on the matter, but I'll give it to you anyway. You're probably, you're awesome. You're awesome, okay? And all of that, and this is the last weekend that we're going to, We I mean, again, this weekend we're going to Connecticut. We're not doing anything in this area this whole weekend. I'm not going to be back here till, um, like, Sunday night at, Best case scenario, 9 o'clock. Best case scenario. That's how crazy it is. So, if this was our last weekend, our final weekend, before we go up to Keep the Lake for the summer, our final weekend to do anything in this area at all, I do not think we could have picked a better place to go and have that last family dinner before Keep the Lake opens for us. Well, tell you can go of any time with our college opening, of course. My point is, if you had to pick one last meal in this area before you have to go away for a while, we picked the very best. And just like I said earlier, I lost a whole lot of sleep last night thinking how the good folks over at Liv's from the accommodating staff to the hardworking cooks who work there, everyone who works there, just thinking, man, how do they do that? Because they accomplish something great every time I go. Yeah, I know it may be a bit, you know what? It's my opinion. And I feel that lives is always a, color, a feat of culinary magnificence. Okay, that's how I always feel. So, you know, you want to say, I mean, don't get me wrong, people have their own opinions. They're, they're, they're absolutely right, I have their own opinions. However, I'm the one in front of the camera, I'm the one talking in front of the camera, I'm the one recording in front of the camera, therefore my opinion is the right one, and I say, Libs is the best. Period. I hope you all like this video. If you did like and subscribe to YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I am very humble to make this video for all of you guys who watch and join for We have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Did I even do Happy Saturday? I think I did. Oh, Happy Saturday. Just didn't do it. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here. So let me know. Always have your back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.